Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Orb of Creation. Today, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. We're going to be, I guess, starting off with learning the small thing. After that, uh, I don't know, I guess we could go for Scribism Scrolls. That'd be a pretty good one. I think our main goal will probably be to level up some of our researches and get some more, you know, more stuff. As is always the goal. I just noticed we we're completely maxed on a couple resources, so let me just spin them real quick. Uh, Druidic Tunement, we can't get I guess I'll get some Vigor. Why not? We have about infinite skill. I figured out what I wanted to spin my Super Scroll on. Can't believe I forgot it. It's the Hydro Aura. So I might as well just put that there. Because uh, we always need to generate water. In fact... I might as well first of all just consume a bunch of rain biscuits. Why not? Oh, look at that! Oh, ho, 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 ho. we're getting a bunch of resources. When you level up stuff with the brain biscuit active, it levels. It gives you reflective power, which gives you a bunch of random resources. So now we're filled up on everything. Holy fuck! That was godlike. I feel. I feel like I've ascended to another plane of existence. Well, let's spend, let's spend all the stuff so we can come back down to Earth. A womp womp. Uh, this is actually pretty good because I needed a bunch of knowledge for uh, leveling up the Conjure Life cantrip. So I might as well... Oh no, I don't have the Verdant Energy to do so now. Why am I running a huge Verdant Energy deficit? Oh, the Ironwood. Okay, there we go. We actually don't have the natural storage to level up Conjure life anymore. Oh, I shouldn't have spent all my stuff. Oh, well. It'd be what it'd be. Uh, we're going to want to level up our casting level, so we might as well switch to our Thaumaturgy loadout. In fact, I think I can... I could go for the Scholar build for this as well. Let's see. So, this is four slots, so with two Scholar, that would be eight. Six plus eight, I think, is actually 14. There we go. So we can get a bunch of these guys. There we go, we're maxed on the Thaumaturgy. Which lets us raise our output level once more. And probably lets us, first of all, level up the spell a bunch. And the spell a bunch. And Whirling Divination can get a level up. Fantastic. Love to see it. We're actually completely maxed on our Thaumaturgy, so might as well get some Attunement and Wisdom as well. Amazing. We generate so much Thaumaturgy now. What the hell? <laughs> and that's only increasing because we just got like 10 cunning levels right off the bat. Uh, is there any way... I mean, another Druidic Entunement is always nice. We get more Vigor. Wait, Natural Expansion. This is a natural resource, right? Yeah, getting some of those upgrades will be nice as well. Dude, we have so much Thaumaturgy to work with. That is ridiculous. And now it's all gone. And now it's all back. Now it's all gone. Dude, that is fantastic. It gets some concentration going, I guess. We don't want to eat all of our uh, sigils, but concentration is pretty good. Minus cantrip spell costs, plus gain. Oh, we could get a bunch of occultic growth as well. Which will give us a bunch of coal essence. Agility is just nice to have. And a few spark is nice to have. 
Elemental Shaper is nice to have. Elementalism. It uses up some of our juice, but that is fine. The juice exists to be me uh, used. There's got to be some sort of research that we could spend. Yeah, Expert Augments. That's easy peasy. Expert Expansion, I don't think we could get... We could get a Expert Wizardry, I guess. It would take billions of Thaumaturgy, but we generate that every time we cast. I guess I will get an Expert Wizardry. It's just nice to have. Increases Cantrip Spell Power. I probably should switch the Knowledge Loadout. Get the Knowledge stuff cooking. There we go. Now we're full up on knowledge. Uh, did we want... I feel like we want an expert artificer too for some reason. But I can't remember why. It was some sort of... It's like a ring or something, right? Yeah, no. There's, there's too many upgrades to keep track of, okay? I mean, that's why you pin stuff, right? Let's see. Was it innovation? Augment resonance. Oh, makes your augments better? No, thank you. Casting mastery would increase the cantrip power by a multiplicative 20%. I think that seems like an amazing upgrade to go for. We would need another expert wizardry. Expert wizardry just requires stuff we have in abundance. I'm going to switch back to the thaumaturgy loadout. Because we have more than enough knowledge. There we go. Can we get Expert Augments as well? It would take all of our mana. But it would give us... Yeah, I think it's worth. Expert Augments basically lets me do more of these Scholars and things, which is just nice to have. We really need to increase our Thaumaturgic capacity. Well, we got small. There we go. Uh, cunning would be pretty good if we could just get our Psy energy back, which we can just get right now. Simple as. Now we can get five of those upgrades or so. Crap, we're, <laughs> we're overfilling our Psy. I'll get a couple mentality upgrades. There we go. We've knocked our side down a peg. Obviously, I'll get some alchemic ability with our extra control, because that'll give us more control. Get some Hydro Aura. I guess I'll level up Psych or cast Psychic Blast again. We can always just reinvest in storage, right? Simple as. Ooh. Academic's really nice, too. Very sweet. Uh, there's another loadout that I want to experiment with, too, while we're on the subject of spinning our stuff. And that would be to have a water generation loadout. Because I think currently we constantly hit this issue where we don't have enough water. But we could always get more water, right? I mean, all the other cantrips we've revisited seem to, you know, be working out incredibly nicely. So why not water as well? Obviously, I'm going to just consume all my psychic energy right now. So what loadout? I mean, I think I'm going to be honest. I was going to say the Purify Orb can go, but the freaking Transfigure loadout can also go. I'm very not impressed with Transfigure. So, what is this water spell? It consumes space, which is important to know. But it gives 5 million water per second at the caster level we have, and also consumes 300 million mana per second. 
Okay, it is a flow alteration cantrip. Do I have anything that boosts flow power? Uh, what is water? It's a liquid essence resource, so we could have purify orb. And that's a toggler, so... That would work, I guess. I think there's also caustic conversion, uh, which does improve alteration spell power. Yeah, that is what we've got to do. It takes a bit. It takes a bunch of stuff. Wait, it's toggled for only three seconds. That is ridiculously dog shit. And it takes two <laughs> glyph slots. What the fuck? Okay, what if we just had Extendo on that? Actually, hold up. It's only level three, mastery level. I guess I'll get Scholarism real quick. Oh no, my water cantrip is also just level zero. I guess I'll take a moment to level these fuckers up. Yeah, we only consume our space if we have all three of these guys running. Now, if we look at our spell book, yeah, instantaneously we got 10 level ups right there. Cost of conversion. We got 5 as well. These guys are getting level ups as we just wait. Does that increase our... I don't think this... Yeah, I don't think cost of conversion really influences stuff that's going already. Oh, this actually increases our ink as well. That's pretty nice. Well, I guess uh, while that's going, we can reinvest our water in getting more water. Because that'll be nice just to have more water. Flow Mastery is good. Metabolism is amazing. Gives us more resource potion power. Is a... Uh... <laughs> wow. What the hell does Cauldron do? It doesn't actually give us anything, but man, it's awesome to level up that a bunch of times. Oh, That's fantastic. Uh, are you a... You're just a food. You're not a potion at all. You're not a resource. Food. Well, whatever. We actually got a level up in our alchemy XP. That is wonderful. Is there anything else that uses water? I guess transmute water. Oh, we can't level that up. <laughs> I feel like I did that last episode too. Um, let's see. Whoa. Power potion increases cantrip spell power by plus 145%. That is so ridiculously good. I guess we were kind of working towards getting another alchemy slot, but that's going to require expert alchemy level 9, uh, which, if I remember correctly, is just completely out of reach forever and ever. This requires 17 billion control. At the very least, we're going to have to, I don't know, level up many, many things to even get that. So unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with this alchemy loadout right now. I mean, we could trade out the amber one, I guess. That's the only thing that we don't really need. What would we replace it with? Uh, good question. I guess the power potion. I mean, I might as well. And can overdrive the crap out of it as well, because why not? It still takes about an eternity to make one of these guys, but that is fine. We're, we're getting XP, which means we can always... If we go to our recipes, we can do that, and then we can get another one of these guys. Hmm, mechanical capacity. Can we level up our mechanical capacity somehow? There should be a research for it. It's probably a technology. Okay, this give us more brewing speed. And brewing free usage slots. Uh, but it would take a cognitive advancement. Improve lab. Extra mechanical. Less drain. Take space. We have that. Wood, we have that. Skill, we have that. Yeah. 
all you like this. I'm never happy sucking cognitive advancement because cognitive advancement's good. Oh, we could get our casting mastery up now. It requires stuff we have already. I guess I will do that. That's going to be extremely sweet. What's this one? Cognitive rest. Mental resources passively generate faster after not using them for 30 seconds. And it also makes everything involving mental attributes cheaper. And then there's dual wield conductors, uh, which is pretty nice. I don't think it gives us more equipped artifact slots, though. Hmm, parallel chopping would require improved axes. What's dilated? So it lowers the power, but increases the duration. Blooming. More power, more duration, more cooldown, plus one stacked casts. That seems pretty decent. I mean, just the power and duration alone seems pretty nice. Interesting. Well, time to reinvest in some Hydro Auras. Oh, we're actually hitting mana capacity now for water stuff. Well, that's awesome. It, it looks like we sort of achieved our objective of maxing out our water stuff. Uh, what's this do? What am I leveling up? Essence resource cap. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll get that. <laughs> I kind of auto-fired it in my brain there. But whatever. We probably could use some sort of... We need to improve our control generation, after all, I think. If we go to our workshop, we should have... The ink gives, like, passive... Scroll generation, right? I think that's under Scholar. I might as well just get the Scribic Aura maxed out as much as possible, because we're going to want these scrolls. I know, consumed all of our wonderful ink, but that's just costume business, you know. Optimization. I'll get a couple level ups of that as well, because that seems awesome. So now that I've got that, we could go back to the workshop and get, first of all, a little bit of paper milling would be cool, because uh, we have paper in abundance. And then we could get alchemical tomes. This will give us the base control per second we need. Yep, each time we get one of these, it's like 50,000 generation per second. The mentalist books also are just fantastic. We still don't have enough scrolls. Okay, uh, first things first, we can switch loadouts. So, in order to get more of the alchemical tomes, we're going to need to build a bunch of stuff. So I might as well go to my builder loadout, and I can actually alter it a bit, since we have the stuff. We have the juice. A dilated would be pretty... Hold up. What does that take to research? Dilated would be very good for the crafting stuff, actually. Probably. Actually, ah, oh, Would it really, though? I mean, I'll develop it just so I can have it. I mean, it is sucking up our technology advancements. I'm just thinking... Oh, that's pretty nice. I'm just thinking, wait, to augment resonance, augmenting spells with augment glyphs provide these things with additional power per glyph used. Oh, wait a second, that's actually useful. I guess I'll get that too. Why not? So whenever I, I notice every time I craft with this mana forge loadout, what ends up happening is it's really awesome for the first three or four seconds and then you know it runs out 
because the crafting takes like 30 seconds. So if we got... Wait, why wouldn't I just get extended instead of dilated? <laughs> oh no! Wait, what the fuck? Did I, did I get jabated? Did it yoink my fucking shit? Yeah. I mean, that reduces the drain per second. Oh, that's fucking dog shit. <laughs> no! Okay, whatever. So, we have 15 slots. If we could get 16 slots, we'd be golden, actually. Yeah, we just need this. I will get this. Why not? Uh, it needs slightly more... Thaumaturgy. Uh, there we go. I have more than enough Thaumaturgy. Fantastic. Love to see it. Alright, we're remaxed on Thaumaturgy. Okay, once we get this upgrade done, then we can have that loadout, the same loadout, but it's going to be one extended, one extended, one extended, and then I guess recharge could be, I don't know, Sonic. It doesn't really matter. I mean, while I'm waiting, I might as well just get more attunement, because why not? There we go. Uh, concentration, I guess I'll get one of those as well. Get some cultic growth. Oh, this one actually... Yeah, that's a perfect use of our thaumaturgy. Magicianry's good. Alright, I think that's all the thaumaturgy I want to use right now. Back to the loadout I was actually caring about. So, Hammer's Corporeal Expansion Charm. It's not a Conjuration Charm. I don't think there's any charm that increases our Conjuration Power. Unless, I don't know. Hmm. Wait, Building and Parchment Resources gained? I was going to craft a bunch of Parchment Resources. Is that better than the Hammer? What's the Hammer do? It's crafting power. I mean, crafting power has got to be better than <laughs> resources gained, right? Because it's the same thing, right? Uh, was there any other spells? I'm trying to find the right menu. First of all, I definitely want to increase my casting output level. There we go. It has been done. Might as well just get some more mana generation as well. Fantastic. Dude, the cantrips are so powerful now. Okay, I need to chill. Yeah, I'm just going to assume mana forge is better. Is there anything else that increases expansion stuff? So... This requires Expert Arcane, would give Physical Precision stats, plus 1,000. And it would increase Corporeal Spell Power, too. This seems really nice. What does it take for Expert Arcane? Well, first of all, we don't have... The orb advancements go all the way. But it would require stuff we have in abundance. Yeah, I mean, I'll get one. I'll just turbo max my knowledge stuff, because why not? I think we have enough thaumaturgy. So if we look at the spell book, so this would be a pretty good one. I mean, haste would also be pretty good. If not, even better, but haste costs, uh, costs lightning, whereas this costs stuff we have. Emblem of Formation. 
summon an emblem that pulses with power, generating spatial and natural resources and a subsequent spell cast. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Then dense expansion. No. None of these, I think, help. Except for the bow. But the bow is going to be out of reach for a while. <laughs> Excuse me? When did you get on my fucking loadout? I mean, actually, this is a pretty good loadout to have it on, right? <laughs> yeah, look at that. It gives us just a bunch of space. It doesn't give us that much space. We could probably level up this guy, though. And yeah, there we go. We're completely out of mana. Fantastic. That's actually wonderful. <laughs> I was completely wasting the extra knowledge, but whatever. That is fine. Okay, no more... No more distractions. I need to craft that fucking... those scrolls. So, loadout. We can afford four of these spells. So, extended. Yes, yes, yes. And then, there's the spell that went with these spells, which was recharge. And recharge could just, uh... I mean, honestly, magnified would be better. Or recharge. Now it does require slightly too much electricity, which is a bad thing. We need to set up our infusion, like our resting mana, to be a little bit higher. I think purified lightning will do just that, and gathering energy will also do that, just that. And I might as well quickly just generate a little bit of electricity so that I have it, you know. So we're going to need 600 of the stuff, 600 million to cast the spell. Storm forging, I guess I'll yoink some of that as well, because that is also going to help with our like resting mana rate. Okay, we're golden. It's a lot of build-up. It's going to be worth it. Surely it will be. So now we can go to our forge. We should be able to cast this. This takes 900 million. Are you serious? Okay, we'll not be able to cast this. Fuck. Uh, okay. No, we can change the loadout. So... This doesn't influence the initial cost at all, actually, which is kind of depressing. Uh, I guess small. Yeah, there we go. You get a little bit of small recharge. So each of these are going to take 14 billion. We have more than enough. Obviously, we're going to want to swap to our building loadout as well. And we might as well double check to see if we have... No. Excellent. It is crafting time. We get to craft some dimensional cores too after we craft the alchemical scrolls. Alright. Oh, there we go. Billions of alchemical scrolls. And we've leveled up our uh, spell itself. Looks like we will not be able to craft those cores. No big deal. Recharge gotta level up. We cannot level it up. Gather Knowledge got level sub, which is just absolutely ridiculous, by the way. Alright. So with 590 billion space... Oh. <laughs> well, fuck me. If I cast this now, does it increase my crafting power? It does increase the crafting power. Okay, that's cool. I guess I'll just have that on repeat. And while that's going, I might as well uh, get a bunch of wood, because this should... Yeah, it gives us more building resources gained, so why not? 
why not optimize, right? Uh, we don't need to harvest the Mage Bloom because we can't even harvest it anyways. There we go. Fantastic. I can have another recharge going. And I might as well increase my Arcane Reserves. Alright, are you finally done crafting? No, it's still crafting. Holy shit. Alright, it's finally done. Dimensional Cores, boom. We're getting a bajillion of those as well. Absolutely wonderful. Love to see it. It's my favorite thing to see. What do the cores even get us anyways? Spatial core, spatial resource quality. I think that's probably worth just yoinking a bajillion of those. I probably should have eaten these biscuits first. I'll get reserves core and <laughs> just yoink them. Oh my god, the innate cores give so much power or so much space. Alright, we've used up all of our cores. Friggin' wonderful. We now can hold 16 trillion knowledge and 15 million arcanum. That is friggin' amazing. Absolutely wonderful. We should switch up our alchemy because we're maxed out on our potions too. Alright, alchemy. Get this out of here. Spark potion. I mean... Might as well try to get these guys coming. It's going to take a long time before we can actually brew our stuff. Uh, brew these potions, I mean. That is what it is. Oh, we can get laboratory equipment number three. Might as well. It'll be interesting to see if that gives us anything. It does not. Okay. Very cool. Let's see. Is there... Did the... Did the ink give us another recipe, by the way? What's this? Woodworking potion for 10 seconds. 200% building resource quality, minus workshop cost, more building resource gained. Pretty awesome. Transmute skill, who cares? Nah, it looks like... Looks like we're all pretty much done with the like game improver, monkey branching recipes. Interesting. Uh, can I swap to a... First of all, Banjo. Yes, Conjuration loadout. Ooh, we've gotten a Spark Potion. Fantastic. It's going to give us millions of part Spark per second. I think I want to just... Wait, it only gives us one million per second? <laughs> Hold up. I thought this was better than it was. Oh, no. We already generate millions of spark per second. I mean, I'll chug it anyways. That's astonishingly mediocre, actually. Oh man, that's so rough. By the time you can craft the spark potions, they're just not great. I guess in theory, it's a... what are you? A resource potion, so the alchemist upgrade. Yeah, it would give resource power. Okay, Conjure Space has been cast. Uh, I wanted to actually influence my loadout before casting these things. Oh, it looks like it's coming off cooldown. Uh, what could I put? So, I think just Scholar. Each of these space things is a cantrip, so we could... Hmm, we could have Emblem of Formation, too. That's 
a 142 second cooldown. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. That's dog shit. I guess just conjure space with the scholar thing would be fine. And then maybe a recharge, but it should be a small recharge. We could put that on six, so that way we can get Industria back. That leaves us with eight slots, so two times four is eight. Boom, 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 boom. This would be a perfect space loadout for us. Might as well give it a go. I have a feeling we're going to end up with too much space. <laughs> I forgot to cast Industria. Whoops. No big deal. I can cast Industria now. It's got a humongous duration anyways. Then I can get Recharge going. I kind of messed up order there. But there we go. Now we can probably level up the space upgrade again. There we go. It has been leveled. Each level gives more power, less cost, more cooldown speed. And I think on that note, we can end the episode here. We have gotten, I think, pretty much every upgrade in the game, other than Scribism Scrolls 3, which is going to be a while, to <laughs> put it plainly, right? Uh, we got a bunch of alchemic scrolls, which I was going to invest in alchemic tomes. I'll just do that right now. There we go. It's been invested. We've learned the power of the various augments. They're actually very good to have. I was really sleeping on them. It takes a while to get them going is the thing. Just going to craft some dimensional cores. Oh, we're out of... Oh, we're out of sigils. That's not good. Uh, let me just spam a bunch of upgrades. Now we have plenty of sigils. Wasn't even worried for a second. Yeah, I think I might actually have hit the cap on content until they add back in the rituals. I think we might have actually done it. Because we're sort of hitting that area where we're just generating like infinite amounts of stuff now. There's no more upgrades to get. And unless there's like a spell that I just haven't looked at. That gives us like, I don't know, unobtainium. Yeah, I don't think such a spell exists. I think we've gotten everything there is to get. At least until they, like, finally get out of the beta branch. So, on... I mean, we obviously... We, we could try to get the Scribism stuff. Somehow, it's just going to involve getting a bajillion Alakar's ink. Literally, like, millions of it. Which will take a while. Oh, repeating. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I think this might be the last episode. Unless, uh... I might give it one more episode just to see if I can find some other thing. But if not, thank you very much for watching Orb of Creation. I definitely will revisit the game once they get out of the beta. Or uh, once... I'm currently on the beta branch uh, because it hasn't updated for a while and then it finally went on the beta branch. So, assuming, assuming they get the rituals back in, that'll be like another chapter of content we could get. Which would be cool, so I might go back for that. <laughs> you know, if, if they don't reset the light my uh, save file. If they do, I'd probably play off screen until we got to like a similar point. Because it would just be a lot of backtracking. Yeah, I think that's all there is to say. Except, of course, goodbye. <laughs>